The 8th century saw the founding of the Pala Empire, which ruled over most of Bengal and Bihar till the 12th century. It was a period of flourishing trade and prosperity. The Palas were generous patrons of monasteries and art. Towards the end of the 8th century, Dharmapala founded a great university in present-day Bihar. The Vikram Shila University, which was to rival the importance of Nalanda itself. By this time, Buddhism had entered its third major phase, the Vajrayana school. It was this sophisticated philosophy which blossomed in the vibrant intellectual atmosphere of Vikram Shila. In earlier Buddhist thought, liberation was possible only through many lifetimes of effort. The Vajrayana offered the possibility of nirvana within a single lifetime. At the heart of this system was the teacher-initiate relationship, where the seeker was guided by his teacher. Complex rituals, mantras or chants, and mudras or hand movements of Vajrayana Buddhism were codified in the form of tantras, Tantra literally means to carry on knowledge. The emphasis in this period was on the intellectual quest. This is constantly reflected in the art. Previous art had been more naturalistic. Its focus had been on a gentleness which moved us and dissolved our sense of the ego, which transported us through grace and ecstasy. The purpose of the art remained the same in this period. However, the dynamism of the intellect, which analyzes the mental processes of the realization of the truth, came to the fore. The many qualities of Buddhahood within each of us and the steps on the path to enlightenment came to be studied and presented in detail. The qualities which move us towards a realization of the truth were presented in a manner which left no room for ambiguity or doubt. This was Vajrayana Buddhism, the vehicle of the thunderbolt whose logic was as clear and as striking as a clap of thunder. It was also as indestructible as a diamond. Such is the intellectual vigor which is presented in the art of the parlor period.